so today I'm at a place called the Oyster Bowls. It's just outside of Campbell River, uh, off of Cranberry Lane. So you have to go all the way down to Pigot, Maine. And then it's about a 10 minute drive down Pigot, Maine once you're onto it. Um, it's a logging road, so be careful of logging trucks if you're coming out here during a weekday. And you're going in some pretty, what I'd call, not rough, but areas where the trees are overgrown. Uh, certainly a 4x4 is worth it. Uh, you can drive all the way down to the river, but I'm not jacked up high enough to go down the river and there are some large boulders, so I'm going to end up walking. So I've come all the way to a small little parking spot. I know out of the way. I don't expect to see anybody else here but me, so it uh, should be a good day to shoot. Let's go give it a try. So when I walked down to the river, I found this wonderful spot to take a photo of the actual falls themselves. Most people come to this area and they're going to shoot the little bowls and the little waterfalls, which are interesting. But I thought this would make an awesome pano. So this is a three shot pano and I used a nodal rail to ensure that it was horizontal all the way across. I shot this on my Olympus, and um, I shot it with, I believe, my 40 to 150 at about 80 millimeters. So it's one of those things where it's wonderful where you can go to a spot and maybe get something different than everybody else. I've been here for a couple of hours. It's been raining on and off. I was kind of hoping to see the sun, but it didn't pop out. Um, I'd really like to come back in the evening. Uh, it's probably about noon right now. And see where the sun sets to see what I can see uh, coming, poking through the sun, poking through the clouds. So it should be good, but it's uh, certainly a worthwhile spot to come. 
again, a little bit of a hill to walk up and down, but uh, other than that, there's lots to shoot here. I can see easily spending five, six, seven hours here taking, uh, taking photos.